This is the second video of the Light Placer Pick and Place Machine build series. All right, so the Light Placer kit has arrived uh, inside the box. We had a few other boxes. Uh, the first is this cable chain kit uh, that I ordered separately. It's optional, but if you want to keep things organized, it might be a good idea. In addition to that, uh, here's the main box of stuff. And inside what you will find is lots and lots of stuffs. So, uh, important component here, the tiny G, which is the brains of the operation. Uh, this guy will be where our program is running and he controls all the motors, has all his inputs on this side. So that's pretty sweet. Other than the tiny G, so many bags. Tons and tons of little bags. So the first uh, order of the day is going to be to sort uh, what I've got in here. And then the preparatory steps from the website, which is basically uh, idler kits and wheels and little stuff like that. After that, I'll split um, the mechanical assembly over maybe two or three days and then do the electrical on one final day, hopefully with testing as well. So let's go. Okay, so there are a lot of steps in mechanical assembly, a lot. But the documentation is clear and the kit is solid. I only encountered two very minor issues on this first day. When the elliptical spacers wouldn't fit, I got worried. But all it led to was this. Okay, that was pretty easy. A little mess here with the filings. I'm going to clean that up and keep on trucking. All right, I now have the gantry back and front plates fully assembled. And the big and nice head. This one was a lot of fun. So now it's time to assemble the gantry assembly and like put it all together and see what happens. Okay, so I just finished the gantry. It's looking pretty good. One thing I noticed is that the upper limit switch here for the Z is really, the tolerances are very, very small if it's actually at a right angle as it is in the uh, instructions. So I kind of tilted it this way. I'll give you a closer look. And as you can see, the tolerance there, kind of tight. So by putting it at an angle, you get a little more access. You can hear it clicking on and off there at the limit of travel. Cool. But otherwise, it's actually looking pretty sweet. All right, here are the results for today's work. The pick and place head, nicely. Uh, sitting on the gantry, which is itself nicely sitting on the Y bar. The roller plates here on the ends and everything is pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Nice. Okay, let's call it a day.